On October the 4th, the Russian kamikaze drone Shahed flew into Belarus and exploded near the Mozir oil refinery. The head of the Center for Countering Disinformation under the Security Council of Ukraine, Andriy Kovalenko, reported this. The Belarusian resource Belaruski Gayon reported about another incident with Shahed. According to it, the settlement of Kalinkovichi was shaken by a powerful explosion. The drone first flew into the territory of Ukraine, after which it crossed the Belarusian border and flew about 40 kilometers before being eliminated. In Kalinkovichi, a kamikaze drone of the Shahed type exploded. It is unknown whether it detonated or was shot down by air defense forces. The Belarusian channel wrote, Kovalenko reported that the Russian armed forces target could have been the Mozir oil refinery, one of the largest oil refineries in Belarus. The Russians are trying to carry out a provocation near the Mozir oil refinery in order to blame Ukraine and demand action from Lukashenko, Kovalenko wrote. Both the Kremlin and Minsk are silent about the explosion of Shahed. However, against the backdrop of the current events, the head of the Russian FSB accused NATO of planning to attack Belarus and threatened aggression against the Baltic countries and Moldova. Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko also made an urgent statement. He called on the Ukrainian authorities to urgently negotiate peace with Moscow and even promised assistance in post-war reconstruction. Experts say that the Shaheds flying to Belarus are not an accident. Putin is sending Lukashenko a warning. Popular telegram channel Sieve of Socrates drew attention to the fact that Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko has recently begun to waver on the issue of Ukraine. He makes statements that contradict the general line of the Putin regime. For the Kremlin, such rhetoric is absolutely unacceptable. Belarus, as an instrument of warfare, is also assigned a certain role in the strategy of Russia. There, they are very suspicious of the current rhetoric of Minsk, which contains at least three seditious moments. We are talking about a peaceful Belarus, i.e. a refusal to be involved in Russian military adventures. Then Lukashenko admits the presence of adequacy in the actions of the Ukrainian leadership. Finally, Putin's most painful point is touched. He is not eternal either. He must prepare for departure. In the Russian Federation, they immediately made the appropriate conclusions about the doublethink of the Belarusian leadership and began to urgently take measures to urgently draw the de facto semi-occupied satellite into the orbit of Russian military algorithms. The resource writes, It is emphasized that the Kremlin really does not like the vacillations of the Lukashenko in connection with which they began to put intense pressure on Belarus, including through the Shaheds. Special forces of the Army of Ukraine together with units of the GUR repel the enemy's gas production platforms in the Black Sea. Part of these strategically important objects, which play the role of our sea fortresses, have been captured and taken under control by titanic efforts. Its content allows you to control a significant part of the water and strengthen the defense. GUR also claims that during this raid they shot down a Russian Su-30SM. The operation in the Black Sea was carried out by the soldiers of the Special Unit Timur GUR of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine in cooperation with the Maritime Center Viking, Group 13, Groups Quasar, Rex and Aggregate with the support of the Division of the State Border Service Dozer, said in the message of the GUR. We remind you that on September 11, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation also reported the attack by the Ukrainian gas production platform Crimea, too. It was confirmed that the attack was repulsed. Out of 14 boats, 8 were sunk and 6 left.